billion years, Bitcoin finally decided to make a move. <laughs> Asalaamu Alaikum everyone and welcome back to Luna Classic video update for Tuesday 11 of October and this is dropping isn't it it's actually dropping 27740 we're looking at uh, the price drop people were bullish and bullish and bullish um i mean it, there's no guilt of being bullish on, in the long term though there's not any guilt for you but you can already see uh yesterday we talked about this one and head and shoulders everywhere okay left shoulder head here the right shoulder left shoulder head right shoulder so head and shoulders it's just a party of head and shoulders and uh it's now now people might start to believe my analysis a little bit uh, because for a long time i've been calling the shots down here for this technical target to to, to that yellow line which is actually 14,000 or even 13,000 and 12,000 it's just a box i might actually do one thing you know instead of dropping that one blue line this is going to be an area actually so it's going to be this area down to where do i put that just like that okay that's the box we're looking for actually drags all the way down to 11 so this is the low that i'm looking forward to that's where i'm expecting luna classic to actually come and spend some time and this could be an amazing entry opportunity down here again on a swing trading concept because if you talk about you know day trade and scalping then 14,000 and 12,000 is a very big area in the smaller time frame but it's actually a very pleasant area based on a swing trade this is like more of an entry uh then if you're looking for scalping then you know buy at 14 so you know you're gonna say hey from 14 to 12 that's a huge dump because yeah it's a huge dump because you're scalping and looking at the smaller time frame just as i've been saying all along for for a long time i made a video talking about who are you as a trader because some people are gonna say that you know this what is happening here a huge pump and dump pump and dump pump and dump but if you look at the four hour and the daily this that's that actually looked like just consolidation and just a very straight line if you look at the smaller time frame it's not a straight line but there's bombs and explosions going on in here uh, if you look at the smaller time frame this is a bomb going on and a and an explosion going on but then again when it comes down to the concept of the swing trade and the day trade and the you know intraday trading that's actually um, a very very small thing imagine this is your 15 minutes chart time frame okay you imagine this is a 15 minutes time frame or one minute time frame left shoulder head right shoulder easy technical target take the top to the bottom it's just down to 14,000 how you go there actually depends on you broke out of the neckline went up coming for the retest and you're looking to go down um, I don't know how many people are going to be interested to actually start learning if it, if it drops down to this level I mean I do deserve your attention to to take a trading course because people are taking a trading course and you can always check that in my in the link of uh, you know in the description of this video below check I put my six years of blood and sweat and hard work for you not to take it come on seriously message me on Twitter if you want it okay this is my Twitter come to Adam coins underscore and you're gonna get um, me on Twitter right over there and uh yeah so this is the profile right over here adam's coin adam coins underscore don't get fooled by scammers okay make sure you 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 can write that username anyways now coming back to luna classic and let's talk about the details okay on the four hour time frame we do have um a three black rows forming up so that's still a continuation pattern so when you see this uh, one red one red candle second red candle third red candle uh, on the four hour time frame unfortunately we are going to be looking to go down but before that uh, you're going to make a little bit of a pullback uh, before moving down and then continue lower so uh, number one that's actually a very small candlestick continuation pattern so there are only two things to talk about in this update one is going to be that candlesticks that i just showed you which is the three black rows and the second one is a chart pattern known as a head and shoulder so uh, just for example purposes for beginners I'm gonna actually uh, show you how they look like so three black crows right over there and into the images again I always show this and I'm gonna keep showing it even though it's becoming very boring but you know the thing is we need to make sure that the uh, new people are actually understanding what's going on so three red candles you can see that green arrow a little bit of a push 
up and then continue lower okay so if you see it going up that's a, that actually don't don't be fooled okay and then go down uh, from here the uh, best example purposes can be this image right over here and you can see a very th clear three black rows a little bit of a green and then boom continue lower so that's exactly what I'm expecting okay number two after the three black rows is to show you uh, the head and shoulders so head and shoulders pattern again if you want to learn all the trading in detail it's an 18 hours of content man a lot you're getting a lot for for this uh, price now don't get fooled by 249 dollars okay this is almost like a university course it's a full-fledged course for everything you need to know to become successful in trading just the way as I'm showing everything to you right now so left shoulder head right shoulder so that's gonna be uh, you know a bearish pattern that actually continues lower so this one right is your left shoulder the head here and the right shoulder so all that pump did was to make the right shoulder and nothing else so where's the neckline um, the neckline is actually gonna reside somewhere near here okay so if we see Luna classic making a little bit of a move to the upside which is actually gonna be up to 29,000 that's what I'm expecting 29,432 go up there before dropping down to the next technical target which is gonna be uh, down here and I actually even talked about the reversal wave technical target a few days ago so that actually takes you down to 22,000 and eventually 20,000 as well because that's your Fibonacci retracement reversal wave to the downside so if I take the bottom there to the top right over here um, we, we do have uh, the golden ratio uh, being taken out as well so uh not this one not this one sorry uh, what am i looking at okay so it's actually gonna be this bottom to that top right over there yeah this top right over here oh guys <laughs> what where where did i see that just a second guys is this confusing right now what am i doing what am i doing okay um okay okay i've actually uh, turned the log scale on actually my log scale was turned off and now i'm getting new technical target so uh the technical target actually for the reversal wave is going to be from the bottom here to the top and it actually shows a new target and uh it's to the lowest possible place area of that box that i showed you which is 11503 but i do expect actually this one right over here so th that's the reason why i draw the box okay this box is the technical target now regardless of 11000 or 14000 i'm expecting it to come down and touch this box i cannot exactly say which target is going to be but on the fib it's actually showing 11503 finger crossed who knows that's still your reversal wave technical target, not my own opinion, okay? So um, 25,000 is going to be your technical target. Uh, sorry, uh, you're going gonna to come down here at 22,000. And you can see the problem is that when that head and shoulder technical target is coming down to 22,000, you're losing 0 0.618. So you're going to come down to 22,000, 20,000, and then back to 0 0.618, which is 23,000 here spend some time here and if you close below here we're going to talk about this in the future but if you're going to keep continue closing below 23700 then get ready for these targets okay get ready for this low to be taken out and to come down to this box finally uh, after a long waited period of time and that's where my uh, buying bids could be next buying opportunity can be and not to forget we still are waiting for many many weeks right now for that uh, ultimate dirty retest okay and that's pretty much it for this update you're welcome hello office